Okay, here we see a nail placed inside a beaker, and as you can see, the water um, is causing something to occur here, and the nail appears as if it is bent. Um, could you lift it up out of the nail, uh, the beaker there? Thank you. Lift it all the way up, and you can see it. And then when you place it back in, it's very straight, but then it, lo it looks again like it's bent. And you can see that bending action right there, okay? So, why do you think this is happening? Here we have uh, station number one in our light lesson one. You can see that it's just a regular type spoon. And if, um, if you take a look at the spoon, you can see an image right now basically of the ceiling on one side of the spoon. And if you flip it over, something seems to happen to the other side of that image. And if also you can move that spoon backward and forward toward the camera, up. You can see something else happens to that image. Now flip it back over too. And then move that image back and forth. And you can see that there is a reflection there and something happens to that image as you move it back and forth and flip it from inside to out. Why do you think this happens? Thank you. Hey, here we have Bregan and Nick, and they are going to help us to do the next station. And what they're going to ask to do is put on the glasses that they received. And please note that these are not 3D glasses, but Bregan and Nick, could you describe what you see? Bregan? Uh, if you look up to the light, there are kind of like rainbow colors that surround it. Very good. Um, what you see, there's a lot of everything. And everything that you do see is, like Regan said, in rainbow colors. Very good. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't really describe, uh, you can't really see this one unless you put the glasses on. So hopefully their descriptions are seeing rainbow colors from every white light source that they see. Thank you. Here we have station three. And uh, as you can see, it's a light. Uh, well, a standard light bulb, more of a halogen light bulb. And what Michael has in his hand is this standard dimmer switch, and he's going to be operating that. And um, all you're going to do is observe very slowly what the filament is doing. So if Michael could please turn it on nice and easy, please. Uh, a little bit lower. Lower. There, that's good. Keep going. And that, and you can see that the as he moves the dimmer switch up, up, all the way up, whoa, and as he moves it down, you can see something going on there with the filament, all right, very good, thank you, why is this happening, what's going on, okay, here we are um, seeing station four, which is featuring a light bulb and the radiometer, the radiometer is the device that looks like it has the small veins on the inside right there. And the light bulb is uh, your standard halogen light bulb. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by turning on the, uh, the light bulb here and try to give the radiometer a little burst. And once we get enough energy going there, you can see that the radiometer will start to spin. And there you see that the light bulb is affecting the rate at which the radiometer will move. Slow, then faster. Why do you suppose this is happening? Here is station five, and you're seeing uh, basically three colored bulbs, right? red, blue, green. And we are going to show you what happens if we, you know, sort of put a piece of paper over top of there and show you what happens with the shadows, okay? Um, here we go. My hand in between there as well. Sort of see what's going on with that.
So, why do you think this is happening? Okay, here we are at st uh, Lesson 1, Station 6, and we have uh, Megan here and Sarah to show us the mirrors. Okay, can you hold up the mirror, Megan? Now, you're going to look. That's good. That's good. The other way you had it. Now, uh, Megan's going to look into the mirror, and she's going to find Sarah. Sarah, you good there? Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Sarah, you're going to cover or try to close one of your eyes, but don't tell Megan which one it is, please. Ready? Go. Megan, can you tell me which eye that she is closing? Her left. Her left eye. Okay. You said her left, but I thought a mirror reversed everything. Isn't that true? Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like here because... Um, Sarah, what eye did you close? My left. That's correct. Okay. So we have something going on there. Can you explain what is happening? Thank you. All right. Hello, everybody. This is Lesson 1, Station 7. Um, and here we have Julia and Maddie to show us um, a little something with that cardboard, too. Can you hold that up, please? All right. Very good. All right. What they're going to show us, this is called the Missing Flesh Station. And uh, can you guys describe what you need to do? And uh, let's, let's go through that process. There's, they were told to hold up the paper towel tube and then bring the other hand with both eyes open, close to it, just like that. And you guys can stop, put your hands down, put the cardboard tube down. Can you describe what happened, please? It looks like there's a hole in your hand. It looks like there's a hole in your hand. All right, sort of like some type of optical. Illusion. That's right, illusion. Okay, can someone please tell us or how this occurs? Thank you. Okay, here we have uh, Annika Wagner here to show us Station Six, and what they're uh, seeing right there are two types of lenses. Uh, could you pick up one of the lenses and rotate it around for us, Annika, so we can see that? And can you uh, move it um, so you can see the side of it maybe? Turn it on its side. There you good. Okay, try to move it toward the center there, please. Good. All right. And then rotate it to the other side. All right, now please uh, hold it over the text and see the, the effect there, okay? As you can see, it's starting to magnify it a little bit, all right? Maybe you could try to explain what this happens or why this happens. Can you put that one down, Annika? Can you show us the other one? Can you rotate that one too as well? You can see the other one has a little bit of uh, a difference there. Did you notice anything in the middle of that one, Annika? What did you see? It's kind of like going inward. It's kind of going inward, that she, she said. Okay, good. Now, can you hold that on to the text, please? Now, what does it do, Annika? If you hold it back a little bit, did you notice that it makes it a little bit what? Smaller. It makes it a little bit smaller, okay? So this is a different type of lens. All right, so this is Station 6. Why do you think this happened? 